We're going to take a look at your forecast with meteorologist Allison Pryor. Allison, what can people expect today? So once again, it's going to be a very nice and sunny day. We are starting off with temperatures this morning that may require you to have just a light jacket before you head out the door. So in the 50s to begin the day, one spot that we still have in the 60s right now is southern portions of Walker County at 61 degrees. But Cleveland, Athens, 54, 59 here in the city of Chattanooga, a 55 in Dalton. No wind right now. And as we progress through the day, the wind is really going to be light outside, light and variable. So a little bit of a shift in direction. So from the south, but you'll notice zero miles per hour, one mile per hour, three miles per hour, so just not much of a breeze eventually for the afternoon into the evening time coming out of the west and then to the northeast by 5 p.m. at two miles per hour. So I think the bigger story for the day is just all of that sunshine and those warm temperatures. Again, great weather for the kids playing outside for any work that you may need to do outside landscaping, whatever it may be. Certainly you can take advantage of that. Just remember, drink that water, put on that sunscreen. We're starting to get to be that time of year where we certainly have those warmer temperatures in the afternoon. Notice at 11 a.m. already up to 71 degrees by one o'clock 77. And then here are those 80s that we're expecting for the afternoon. Now, one other thing to consider today, we know the UV index is going to be in that very high category. The air quality today is also going to be in the moderate category. Now, moderate means it is acceptable for the great majority of people. But if you do have any kind of health issues, breathing issues, it can be a problem if you're unusually sensitive to that. So again, overall pretty acceptable to be outside. No big issues and you can enjoy that sunshine and nice weather. Here's a check of our current clouds and radar. Not really much going on when you're looking at the eastern half of the country. Clear skies here in the Tennessee Valley. We still have that low pressure system in the west. So the one that we were watching yesterday has now moved up into Canada. There's a new low pressure system that has developed just a little bit further to the south of the one that we had yesterday in between Nebraska and Kansas and just not a whole lot going on. So that's going to be staying to the west of us bringing us all that sunshine here locally in our area. So here's a check at Futurecast. Uh, this evening still seeing those generally sunny skies. There may be a couple of spotty clouds that pop up for the afternoon with the heating in the day, but overall just really gorgeous conditions. Any kind of denser clouds staying to the west of us for Middle Tennessee and up into Kentucky for the day today. Now tonight there will be an increase of clouds, especially during the early morning hours heading into Wednesday and then for Wednesday expect a mix of sun and clouds. Now particularly seeing some of those clouds lingering for our western communities. So Chattanooga, Dayton, down to Trenton and westward and that's where it's more likely you may see a little bit of that spotty shower chance heading into the afternoon on Wednesday. The further to the east you are, you may be just seeing that blue sky and sunshine all day long. Now, as we progress through Thursday, Thursday is going to be more of the same for everybody. So sunny skies once again, don't have to worry about any of those rainfall chances. Let's move into Friday then. So Friday, notice that low pressure system that was developing off of the Gulf of Mexico. So we're actually going to have some showers moving into our area from the east, pushing into our region. Now Friday just had the chances at 10% again. So just a spotty shower here and there. That's all we're really expecting. And then good news is if we were watching yesterday, look like we could see some scattered activity for rainfall for the weekend. I've reduced those rain chances now to just isolated for both Saturday and Sunday. So yes, there's still green on the map. Yes, there's going to be a chance for a few spots to receive some rainfall, especially during the afternoon and evening hours, but certainly doesn't look like it's going to be quite as widespread. So for both Saturday and Sunday, just had those chances at 20% now. So some isolated PM showers on Saturday, 84. Sunday, you still have that chance for those isolated showers and storms. A few more clouds for Sunday, but 86 degrees for that high. Today, don't worry about any kind of that rainfall. It's just the sunshine, warm and dry today with that light and variable wind. 84 degrees for your high temperature. Tonight, 62. If you're outside of Chattanooga, we'll have a lot of spots that are in the 50s again for tomorrow morning. Mostly clear, but those early morning few clouds will start to push into the area, leading us to that mixture of sun and clouds for Wednesday, but overall we'll still call it mostly sunny, especially for our eastern communities. And that spotty shower chance to the west, 86 for your high temperature. And it's going to stay in the 80s for the rest of the week ahead. So you'll You'll generally see that 82 to 86 degrees, which is all above normal. The normal for this time of year is 79. So hopefully you like the warm weather overall. Really nice conditions. I mean, there's not a whole lot going on for the seven day forecast. Right now, the highest rain chance just at 20%. And honestly, we could use some rainfall. So if you have those spring gardens, if you if you have the plants outside, you may this week need to pull out the water hose and do a little watering. Yeah, I mean, 86 degrees this weekend. I mean, that is that is near pool weather. I know, I know it is. Mm -hmm. At least at least pull out maybe an inflatable pool or a sprinkler or something for the kids. All right, Allison, thank you.